Dr. Anthony Garcia's team will argue next Friday that the media coverage has been so extensive to an extraordinary degree that not only should the case be moved to another county to get an impartial jury, but that if it isn't, the jury should be sequestered, not just during deliberations, but for the entire trial. Garcia's Chicago attorneys say the local media coverage has been hostile, prejudiced, and constant. And the only way a juror can avoid public opinion in this environment is to separate the jury from the outside world for the length of the trial, scheduled for six weeks. It's something rarely done here. Most lawyers don't want to do that because they don't want the jurors locked up because they wouldn't like to be treated like that. So you have a right to sequester the juries, but it's seldom used. The courts did rule this week on a technique used by Omaha police to track Dr. Anthony Garcia in the two weeks before his arrest. They would ping his cell phone to find its location every half hour or so in July of 2013. His attorneys argued that it violated his constitutional rights to privacy. If they track and trace you when you are in your home or a place where you have what they call an expectation of privacy. But the courts overruled the argument this week, saying Anthony Garcia did not have a reasonable expectation of privacy in the location of his cell phone. The quadruple murder trial is scheduled for mid-September. I'm Brian Mastery reporting, WWT 6 News. These are just some of the motions before the court. Coming up in May, the judge will hear arguments about why the defense believes there should be two separate trials, one for the Dundee murders back in 2008 and one for the Brumbach homicides just five years later.